Sauce gang and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats here with an absolute epic reaction for you. Well, Animagician just dropped a brand new Dream SMP uh, lore theory video and this one is called Technoblade is Doomed. Now this weekend we had a brand new Technoblade stream and uh, I'm really curious to see maybe if Animagician picked up on a couple things that maybe I missed. I'm always curious to hear Animagician's theories on Dream SMP lore, because I think he hits the nail on the head quite a bit and also opens my eyes to some things and makes me start thinking about some things I wasn't thinking about and I like to think. So uh, I'm beyond hyped for this. Make sure you show Animagician some love, subscribe to his channel, like this original video. And if you enjoy my reaction, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel, but enough talking. Let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot Sauce Beats is finally here. Hot Sauce Beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot Sauce Beats. Woo -hoo. Let's go, Sauce Gang. Yeah. It is in a lot of trouble on the Dream SMP, and there's a bunch of reasons why, which we got from the stream he did with Tobo and Eric, Sam's stream afterwards, and then Sapnap's stream. You might have caught this while you were watching the Techno stream, but in case you missed it, watch this. Trust me. I'll make. Me. I'll you. make again. Eric, however, and, and, and the, I am uh, still uh, pissed. This is the thing, well, Tobo. The I, thing I, is, I'm, right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for. I'm sorry for stop, stop bonding. I'm still talking. The thing oh, is, Tubbo, okay, where I come from, people people don't have multiple lives, Tobo. Not where oh. I come from. Yes. So okay. So a lot of people have been kind of arguing with me in the comments, and it seems like there's this massive divide of people who think Technoblade has three lives and people who think Technoblade has one life. Due to this weekend, chat, and Technoblade saying it himself, I think he only has one life, one canon life, and that's it. Where do you come from? En enough about that. Era, what were you saying? Yeah, what were you saying? The subject. Yeah, in what is seemingly a one off conversation about bonding, first off, ew, emotions, am I right? If Techno takes the time out of the stream, he'll literally interrupt Eric and Tubbo, completely disrupt the flow of the stream to say that where he comes from, they only have one life. Now, yes. instantly, this raises a bunch of questions. Where does Techno come from, and is it the same place that Phil comes from? What is it about the Dream SMP that makes it special? Why is it that Good in this point, specific place, people, are three lives? Are people given. Because. Philza comes from like the hardcore world, and that's the reason why we think he only has one canon life. And more lives than they had before when they entered the SMP. Also, he when picked Techno up on this too. Came from somewhere? Where would that be in canon? Since we're assuming everything on the server is a part of the Dream SMP, by definition, Techno would have had to come from a different server. All of this, along with other evidence, of course, comes together to lead me to believe that Technoblade is in a lot of trouble, even though it might not seem like it at first. Let's start with the biggest question first. Where is Techno from? There's a theory I've had on this for a while that let's just say it's pretty out there. Okay, so in the Dream SMP lore, there are a bunch of things that have been inadvertently canonized. There's the obvious stuff like sadists animatics and whatnot but there are also some other more interesting things for example mcc and also oh hold on hold on hold on hold on chat is is animagician saying that some other stuff is canon that some of sadists animations animatics are canon and that some of mcc is canon what I've never heard this before. Chat, let me know in the comments. I've never heard Phil's that. Phil's hardcore world. Now that last one implies some really, really important things because it tells us that Phil canonically lived in a separate world before where he only had one life, which as we've seen, seems to be a bit of a running theme. Okay, so did so he with come all from his mind, hardcore world? say that we have some sort of like SMP multiverse going on? It would explain MCC being <laughs> canon because then the dream SMP creators or characters would get yoinked out of their server by the MCC creators. And if you want more information on how all of that would work and my theory on it, check out this video. I've link never card. chat. I've never heard this before. Seriously, this is all brand new news to me. Is MCC canon? Is Philza from his hardcore world? Here, the question then remains: Where's Techno from? My first yeah, thought is Hypixel, right? That's what Techno's known for. He's a seasoned Skywars and Bedwars player, and when he moved to Hypixel Skywars, that introduced him in canon to Tommy. <laughs> Tommy then called him for help later on in the story, and that's how Tommy was able to make the whole I have the blade reference work. And that's an okay I have theory, the blade. but it has one major flaw. Sure, in Skywars, in Bedwars, you only really have one life. Once you're final killed, you're dead. But given that they're canonically on Hypixel, that would mean that Techno really has multiple lives when you think about it. Okay, if not Hypixel, then let's go back 
of the drawing board. Specifically, what does Techno reference all the time on the Dream SMP? The first thing that probably comes to mind when you think Technoblade, Technoblade Blood for the Blood dies. God, of course, which originated in okay, the wrong, the wrong phrase. of predecessor Minecraft Monday. Looking into this a bit further, it makes more and more sense. Tommy only called Techno for help that far into the story because he canonically didn't know about Techno till Wilbur, who teamed with Techno to Minecraft Monday, told him of this incredibly oh. powerful player who could rival Dream and help him beat Sapnap. Minecraft Monday was also an event notorious for having Hunger Games, a game mode in which you only have one life, after which you're unable to play for a full week until you're invited back. Unlike Hypixel, you can't queue any time, you've got to wait for an external force to revive you, similar to the Dream SMP in that sense. Okay, so Techno might be canonically from the Minecraft Monday server, and the reason he hasn't gone back is because, you know. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. That's why. <laughs> oh, 07 for, for Minecraft Monday chat. That was before my uh, my time in getting into Minecraft. So again, this is why I love Animagician's videos because he brings up points that I either didn't think of or reinforces a point. Like I thought Technoblade saying that during that stream, like I even pointed out too, like that, like, yes, he literally interrupted Tubbo, said it, and he's like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm done talking. Like, yeah, it's kind of sus, bruh. Um, but then I, I didn't really think of like the whole like, where I'm from aspect of it. I just thought like, you know, okay, he's got one life and then that's as far as I took it in my brain. But he but... says he only has one life. Okay, cool theory. Huh. But then that raises another question. Does Techno still have one life? There's a running theory that I was gonna make a video on which implied that most, if not all, mob hybrids have different amounts of life depending on how close they are to being that mob. Slimesicle, being literally a slime, had some weird stuff going on with his life. Randu, the same. Sam, we haven't seen lose any lives yet. And Anfrost also hasn't died once. To my knowledge, I might have missed one here. It's possible that mob hybrids only have one life, but given the lore that Wilbur wrote on AO3 the other day, which heavily implied Randu's death, I doubt it. Also, if you want to see a video breaking down that lore, by the way, the one that was uploaded to a literal fanfiction site, subscribe. These videos take a while to make it. <laughs> we watched it, bro. It's been heavily implied that Phil only has one life, and out of lore for a second, Wilbur on Reddit has actually confirmed that Phil only has one life. He also confirmed that Techno has three lives, which kind of does seem to make this question open and shut. However, that makes you wonder. What rules carry over? Why is it that Phil, who is in hardcore and only had one life, keeps that rule with him but drops everything else from hardcore mode, but Techno, who wasn't in hardcore and only has one life, gains two more on top of what he already has? Techno beat Minecraft with a steering wheel once, why doesn't he have to use a steering wheel on the <laughs> Why isn't he always playing with the steering wheel? I, I, this, these are some Dream good SMP. points. Like, I don't really have a canonical explanation for this, but it's really interesting to think about. Yo. I heard there was a special place. <laughs> EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Techno isn't in a good place, even with the three <laughs> lives, however, and that's solidified by what happened very recently on both Sapnap and Awesome Dude streams. After being locked in, Sam was visited by none other than Dream, who had some really interesting things to say. After everything, all the horrible things Sam has done, Dream finally made Sam see that he might not be the good guy. And let's be real here, Sam is basically a supervillain at this point, like Techno said in his stream. He's Max, stupid rich, he built a kid in and a world eater, and is willing to do anything with the belief that the ends justify the means. Sam is a textbook villain. And now, finally, Sam has realized that himself. He has finally had the thought instilled in him that he should start being a better person. But in that exact same- Oh, no, 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 hold on, yeah. I don't, I don't think he's, Dream's talking with him to make him better. I think Dream's literally making him realize it, break him down, so then he can start manipulating him and molding him either into his right-hand man or for him to do some really like bad stuff like kill Quackity, because Quackity made him that way, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. That's my theory. And it's a game theory. <laughs> Dream is driving apart Sam and the rest of Las Nevada. He brings up that Tubbo was his ally. Tubbo who betrayed him. Tubbo who worked for Las Nevada. He brings up yep. that Bad betrayed him. Bad who was a prison guard who gave the blueprints to Techno. Remember, Sam is one of the most powerful people on the server. Dream breaking him like this isn't just a way for him to get revenge. It's a way for him to eliminate another player from the race to be the most powerful. He also confirms something extremely interesting. Techno got the blueprints to break into the prison from Bad Boy Halo. This confirms that not only was Dream controlling Ranbu from inside the prison because Bad gave the blueprints to Ranbu, but also that Bad betrayed the prison, that Bad broke Dream out. Keep that in mind then as we move on to Sapnap's dream. Sap is hunting Dream, trying to kill him after he was broken out of prison, and he's searching the SMP for places he could be hiding. Sap, however, doesn't find him or Sam, and instead looks into Dream's old house, where he finds something incredibly important. Welcome Before we get to that though, there's something else I have to tell you, and that's that every chest in this house had a piece of pink wool in the center for some reason. I have no idea what this could have 
imply or what it means, but it's there and it's weird, so I thought I had to tell you. And this thing that's incredibly important, it's what's only been hinted at before. The counterpart to the revival book. The death book. Before we get into this, I don't want to see any of you weabo knuckleheads in the comments telling me this is like Death Note. I do not care. And the rules of the death book are basically... <laughs> Magician, I feel you, dude. Uh, so I, I obviously, as you guys know, watching this, I reacted to this too, and a lot of the comments talked about it being the de exactly about the as follows. By writing someone's name in the book, Dreamex, you will come down and kill both you and the person's name you wrote in the book. You can't replicate this book, which, as we know from my previous video, is important because the revived book basically entirely depends on being replicated. Finally, if the owner of the book dies fully, the book gets destroyed, and if the book fully kills anyone or the owner of the book, they don't get a ghost, they don't go to limbo, nothing. Gone. They are snap out of existence. Side note here, but Jesus Christ, can someone tell Dream to use a different voice changer for his Dream XD voice? You cannot understand half the words this Please. man is saying. <laughs> anyway, after this, we're told Please. that Dream XD gets his power from dying. In other words, he wants people to die on the SMP. He wants people to be revived so that they can, in his words, die again. He wants the cycle of war and revenge and constant conflict to continue for as long as possible. He will do everything in his power to continue that. Enter Sapnap, who hates Dream, and Dream XD starts trying to convince him to do two things. One, kill, kill bad boy, bad boy Halo. specific bad, not just a random <laughs> SMP number, bad. And two, team up with Dream. Let's take these individually because they're both really, really important. First, kill bad and bad in specific has two possible reasons in my mind. First, Bad leads the Eggpire, the other huge faction on the server. If the Eggpire and the Kanoko Kingdom, which Sapnap is a part of, start a war, it's extremely likely that the rest of the server gets roped in as well, with a huge amount of death thereby happening, Isn't making the Dream XD incredibly though? powerful. He's highly incentivized to cause conflict, after all. Second, what if Dream XD is trying to take out his anger on Bad somehow? Bad was the one who freed Dream from prison, which essentially put a stop to Las Nevadas' expansion. Las Nevadas, which after it got big, was bound to collapse under the pressure of Wilbur, Dream, the Kanoko Kingdom, and the Eggpire. This huge entity collapsing would almost have certainly caused a huge war. Also, Woolish is a part of Las Nevadas, and he did build Dream XD a statue, so there is that. Second, and perhaps more importantly, Dream XD wants Sapnap to team up with Dream, and this is where we loop back to Techno. We know from the fact that Dream visited Sam and kept him in prison that Dream is about to take revenge on the people that wronged him, people like Quackity, Tommy, all these people with huge influences on the server, people who will strike back, continuing that cycle of revenge. Dream XD wants Dream and Sapnap to dream to, to dream up? To dream up. Dream. Wait. Dream XD dream. wants Dream and Sapna. It happens to me all the time. Words words are overrated, Animagician. Words are overrated, fam. Don't worry up. about it. Because having the Death and the Revive book on the same team does give that partly limitless power, but the split between the books creates incredibly high stakes. Sap can't kill Dream, as we learned from this clip. I don't want to kill anyone else. I just want to kill Dream. Come on. Well, you can't kill the owner of the Revive book. And Dream can't kill Sap in any way that matters before his name is written down in the book. It's setting up for extreme conflict to take place with these huge powers on either side. The perfect yes. thing for more death to occur, the perfect place for Dream XD to power up. Even without this team up though, Dream will have people coming for him. People like Sapnap who can't really hurt him thanks to the revive book, but people who will therefore go for Dream's allies. And if you look at a list of Dream's allies, you'll see that Rambu is already dead. Everyone thinks that Pungs betrayed Dream, and the only ally that is left is Techno. Techno, who never died sure, but who Sapnap, who wants to hurt Dream, doesn't need to technically kill. Remember the rules? They're blinked out of existence, no ghosts, no limbo. That, dear viewer, is how you kill Technoblade, and that is why Techno is doomed on the Dream SMP, even if he has three lives, what? even if he has one life. The revival part of this video was probably pretty confusing, so if you want a more in-depth explanation of that, click the video on screen now. Subscribe! What? Okay, let, let me, let me... Let me bring you in, chat. Let me bring you in. Okay. So, basically he's saying that he thinks the way that Sapnap's gonna get to Dream, in essence, is by killing Technoblade. So, I don't, I don't know. I, I will say, I definitely think it was pretty sus that like Technoblade 100% made it like a point to stop the conversation so the stream heard him and say, you know, where I come from, we only have one life, carry on. Like when they do that, it's cause it, it's part of lore, right? Like something's gonna come out of it. I don't know if I 100% agree though that it's setting up 
or sat map to take out Technoblade. Because I really don't think... I mean, yes, Tech... Yes. Okay. I think maybe if Dream does actually do something to Kanoko Kingdom, then maybe, yes, Sapnap will get angry and could throw some blame on Technoblade because Technoblade broke him out. So I can see that. Uh, sorry, it's late. It's like almost midnight. But um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I think he brought up some really good points here. And again, I'm really happy that he pointed out some of the things I definitely thought on that stream. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. Dream XD, you, you gotta get a different voice changer, bro. Like, I love it, but can, can we just, can we just do this right here? Can we just, can we just pitch it down and, pitch it down and... Just talk like this. Like, you can understand everything I'm saying right now. And it's just really low. Kinda creepy. This is very godly. I'm Dream XD. Blah, 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 blah. Much better, much better. You don't need the, the roboticness on it, but uh, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, Animagician. I love these videos. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to Animagician, like his video, and let me know in the comments. Do you agree with this theory? What do you think? Do you have any of your own theories from this? But let me know. And if you enjoyed my reaction, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Enjoy your day. And remember, it's eat, sleep, and make beats. And as usual, be kind to one another. And that's all I got. Boom! I'm out. Uh, kind of my love for the sauce gang. Peace. I'm out. Out.